So the first thing I'm doing is going to remove the bottom bolt. So I've got my 17 millimeter socket on there. Badly. So that comes out, it's got a washer on it, that belongs in there. Just sits in there. So I tend to bolt everything back in place so that I know where it goes. These have all got red, different colour markings. There's red here, some of the other bolts got blue dot or blue line. But um, I'm just putting them back where I'm taking them out of, that way I know when I get the seat belts back, where everything goes, even put the cover back on so I don't lose it. The next one I'm going to undo is the one in the middle there. Um, apologies for the background sounds, that's um, my little two year old who wants to take over the video of this. Um, so hopefully big sister will be over in a moment to, um, to go and play with her. So there's a bolt, so let's see, some got red lines, some got blue dots. So once I get this out, I'll put that bolt back. So I'm just punching for background sounds. Uh, this is our first or second video, so still learning how to do this. Uh, it doesn't help with the, the little two year old who wants to take control of the camera. Um, but this is a stage we've got all the pins out and we're wiggling out the actual seatbelt unit. So we've got the unit out now. So this is the pin that I was referring to that goes into this hole here. Um, you just have to wrestle it out. I've, I've not found an elegant way of doing it. Um, so that's the other bolt, the third bolt, which I'm going to put back in there. I said I'm doing that so I remember where all the bolts go. So I'm just going to put that in so it stays in there. Uh, so this is that pin. This is a unit that you're going to send off. Uh, and then this is the last bolt to undo, which I'll do now. This is a unit that you're going to send off for new seat belts. Um, and then, as I said earlier, I'm just attaching everything back onto the car so I know where it goes. Um, one thing I would say is that I put the roof down as I opened the front bonnet and the boot. Um, I'd also put the windows down, I didn't do that, but the battery disconnected now, so um, I'm not going to do that. But uh, if I was doing this again, definitely would have the windows down just to give you a bit more working space, but also so you don't bang into the glass and shatter that. Um, I've left, I'm going to leave the car like this. It'll be probably a week's turnaround until I get the new seat belts, um, but that's fine. Ideally, if you've got a garage space to, to leave the car in, that's ideal. Uh, so I can just leave it in bits um, and then put it back together when, when I get the new belts.
Uh, then I will do another video of uh, installing the new belts. So this next section just shows the actual units after they're both out of the car. So they're already marked left and right. Um, so I'll be sending these off to get them rewebbed so that we new belts in a different colour. Uh, I'll do another video to show uh, the reinstallation. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to add any comments or any questions down below.